just as you thought you were getting somewhere with your lawn care journey, bam, overnight, loads of mushrooms started appearing in your lawn. Some people might view this as a good sign of nature and a natural sign in the lawn, whereas others, it might drive them crazy for all the effort that you've put in to make a green and beautiful lawn. Mushrooms can really spoil the visual appearance of the lawn and maybe even cause some concerns for people with kids and dogs. In this video, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about mushrooms and what you can do next. First of all, what are mushrooms in the lawn? Mushrooms are part of fungi and the fungi grows above the lawn, which is what you can see, but it also grows a network below the lawn, which is interconnected. Above the lawn are almost the fruits of the fungi and they're designed to produce more mushrooms. Now this little fact is one reason why you might want to avoid taking the mower over the top of the mushrooms, but I'll come to that in the next part of the video. Some people believe that having mushrooms in the lawn can be a sign of bad health, but actually these mushrooms require organic matter to grow. So generally having organic matter within the soil is a positive thing for grass, but it's also a positive thing for mushrooms as well. Now this organic matter could come from a variety of sources such as decaying grass clippings, um, some soil or compost that's been put down. And I have seen in one or two cases buried logs and twigs underneath the soil surface that are just decaying over time. These fungi can produce at rapid rates. What you might see on one night is a completely clear lawn and then the next day you wake up and it's absolutely full of mushrooms. On my lawn I've got two main types of mushrooms. The first are these little brown cap ones which are smaller in size and I've also got the white mushrooms which are a little bit taller and grow a little bit above the grass surface. So what's the best way to tackle these mushrooms? Well I previously mentioned in the past that it's quite tempting to just run the mower over them and pick them all up but that can be a bad idea. Now running the mower over the mushrooms can help spread the spores both inside the machine itself and across the surface of the grass and by spreading the spores, we're probably gonna produce more mushrooms. So if I can't run the mower over it, what other options have I got available? For my area, it's around 70 to 80 square meters, and I can fill a bucket and just pick these out by hand. Typically, I'll always put some gloves on for this type of job, get a little small bucket and just go and pick the mushrooms out of the ground, trying to remove as much of the stem as I can and throw them in the bucket. That way I'm going to try and minimise the amount of spores that will spread and hopefully clear things up. If you've got particularly shady areas, you can also consider trying to open some light onto the lawn. Now that'll also be a problem for growth as well, so if you've got some overhanging branches, maybe consider cutting those back, which is gonna improve the airflow and also the sunlight onto the lawn surface. So you can see here, these are all the mushrooms that I pulled out just in one day from my lawn, which is around 70 to 80 square meters. If you've got a much bigger area, this method might be quite time consuming and perhaps you might want to just live with them because they will die off and they've got a very short life cycle. In terms of treatments, there aren't really any chemical treatments available in the UK to treat these type of mushrooms. There may well be other treatments in other parts of the world, so if you're familiar with the treatment for where you live, please leave me a comment down in the description below for your methods. Another method to treat the mushrooms is around improving airflow. So this could be a good time to aerate the lawn and even scarify it to remove any of dead matter that's sitting within that soil surface and help open up the canopy and increase the airflow. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me keep producing more content like this and consider subscribing to my channel for more lawn care tips. If you're interested in how I got a lawn looking as dark green as this, I've left a full playlist where I completely renovated the lawn. I'll leave that in the card above. All the products that I use can be found in my own shop, gardenlawncareguide.com, and I've left some links in the description below. Thanks, it's Matt, the Garden Lawn Care Guy, and I'll see you in the next video.